Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edu Vidya World videos. So, uh, this is a short video about SAP kernel upgrade. Okay. So, uh, what is the kernel of SAP system? It's nothing but it's the core software of the SAP system which helps in the execution of the SAP software. Okay. So, it's nothing but it's like the heart of the SAP system okay so this kernel has various process in it okay so each of them they give a specific functionality to your sap system okay so that's why it's known as the kernel the, the core software of the sap system so uh, in the last video we have discussed about some the software update manager tool okay so now uh, this is nothing but the it's only it deals with the kernel upgrade steps so this kernel upgrade uh, the part of it can be covered in the sum tool okay so when you do the sap software updation so prior to that you will have to do the kernel upgrade okay so uh, first you do you upgrade your database and operating system and next you upgrade this kernel and then you go with your sap uh, update 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 or upgrades okay so you first thing is you have to uh, check and download the new kernel sar files from the sap sub so, okay the service marketplace okay whether it's whatever upgrades you do okay sap says like you have to download even your database funds or uh, os you have to download it from the sap service marketplace okay so all the software like what whatever you are applying to your sap system it will be available in the sap service marketplace okay so you go there and download it so here also in this kernel upgrade you download the latest kernel okay so then you have to shut down the sap and database here okay so for kernel upgrade we don't have any minimized downtime as such as we have for the uh, the sap upgrade okay if the kernel is not the kernel processes are not running your sap system is not running okay so here we don't have any concept of minimized downtime as such you have to shut down your sap and database okay so you have to even stop the listener and the sap os call okay so everything you have to completely shut down then you have to take a backup of the present kernel directory this is very important okay the kernel directory is usr sap sid whatever sid sap sid sys exe that is your the kernel directory okay so i'll just put it here it is uh, for example okay in uh, unix flavors it is slash usr sap okay whatever sid you have a sap sid okay then you have sys exec run okay so this is this will be your uh sys exec okay so this this executables okay of the sap software okay so this is your uh, kernel okay and uh, generally they maintain a soft link with sap mnt sid exe okay so in sap mnt sid also they'll uh, create an uh, exit directory and they will link that okay so you take a backup of the present directory then you extract the new kernel files into the executable directory okay so first what you do you take a backup of the cxe okay then you extract the new kernel files okay into this directory okay so you just whatever sar files you have downloaded sar or uh, zip files okay you have to uncard them okay and just uh, copy all those files into this directory and then you adjust the permissions and the other important thing is you have to run this sap root.sh with the root id okay so that's it you have to just replace the old set of files in your executable directory with the new set of files that's it okay and then you have to make sure like you have to compare both the old and the new kernel directories and you have to adjust certain permissions of certain files 
okay and after that you run the sap root dot sh from the root okay so you have you just check the new kernel you start the listener you start the sap os call you start sap and database okay so this is order in which you shut down sap okay so you shut down sap database you stop the listener stop os call now you start the listener start os call okay you start database and then sap okay so in between what you do you have to download the kernels files from the sap service marketplace okay you take a backup of the present kernel okay say like if your system is not coming up after the new kernel is present or say even the, the system has started and you are facing some issues okay so then immediately you have to revert it to the old kernel so that's why very important is you have to take a backup of the present kernel directory without doing this please never ever don't go ahead with the kernel upgrade okay because you will be running short of your maintenance time your system is not coming up or even if your system has come up you are facing some problems when you do the preliminary checks after doing the kernel upgrade then say like you have taken a maintenance of just like one hour okay or 30 minutes to do the kernel upgrade you'll be running out of time then immediately revert the new kernel with the old kernel okay so later you can again check in your development or test systems like what the issue is and then you can fix it and then you can move ahead in your production system okay so in such cases okay you, you need to have a backout option so that's why you take a backup of the present kernel directory okay which is used to immediately replace the new kernel if you encounter any problems okay so in the kernel upgrade process you just in the kernel directory all the old files are replaced with the new files okay and you have to just check the permissions okay to compare them and change wherever they are required and the other important thing is you have to run the sap root.sh using the new now using the root okay using the root user okay and you have to log into your after your sap is started you have to log into your system and do the checks and the other important thing is you have to check the new version of the kernel from sap you can just check it from sm51 you go to the release okay there you will check you will also get what is the kernel version is or from the os level it is this disp plus work hyphen v okay disp plus work hyphen v that will show you the the what is the latest release your kernel is it okay so after the upgrade you have to check whether your kernel was upgraded or not if you run disp plus work hyphen v it should show you the new kernel okay the, the whatever kernel you have upgraded to or similarly from the sap system you can log into sm51 and you can go to the release okay there also you can uh, get the information about this kernel is okay so and this kernel upgrade it, it always requires a downtime okay there is no such thing like you can do it when the system is up and running and the other important point which i want to mention here is like anything you are doing to your sap system whether it's a kernel upgrade or uh, you are doing a support package a stack upgrade or whatever it is okay you start from your development box you do it in your development okay the test the quality and production so that's how you have to follow because if you find any errors you shouldn't one shouldn't do anything directly in the production system okay from your in your landscape you have to start anything any upgrade any upgradation like a database or os or kernel or you know this sap sub, uh, packages one should start from the development box do it in quality okay test quality and then only do it in production okay because any type of errors if you encounter okay so if it's a development or a quality you can revert it back or you can fix them okay but if it's a production system you just can't keep a production system down for a longer time okay so that's why we are doing like you take a backup of the present kernel directory so in case of in the production system also you have already done in dev and qa but something went wrong in the production system you are not able to the system is not coming up or you are getting some errors okay 
so then immediately you can revert back to the old kernel just revert it back okay maybe that maintenance time was wasted however again your system will be up and running with the old kernel okay maybe after a week or 15 days once you fix the errors then you can move ahead understood so these are nothing but again here in this video also i'm just giving the high level steps of doing this kernel upgrade as i have discussed in the last video the, the sum tool okay so i'm not going into the technical details like what are the commands which we use okay such things okay so here again depending if it's on windows you just copy and paste it if it's on ux aix or unix you use the copy commands okay you have to unzip it okay so those things they differ depending upon the os flavor and the database so these are the just the high level steps giving a brief introduction about the sap kernel upgrade process okay so uh, that's all in this video thank you